Why, hello there. So, you've come for the tech news, have you? Well, you're gonna, you're gonna have to do better than that. Earlier this week, AMD officially confirmed they will be announcing their RX Vega graphics cards at SIGGRAPH beginning July 30th. But as we wait for the official unveiling, we can get a bit of an idea about performance thanks to a new benchmark leak. This particular model has a 1630 MHz core clock and a 1890 MHz clock speed with HBM2. And the benchmarks, which were done with 3D Mark 11, show the RX Vega beating out the GTX 1080 by 15% with a score of 31,874. It's still a ways behind the 1080 Ti, but previous benchmarks have shown the RX Vega to be closer to a GTX 1070. And well, as we get closer to the unveiling, we can maybe trust these benchmarks marks a little more, perhaps, hopefully, but these are synthetic benchmarks and so we'll have to wait a few more weeks to see what RX Vega can do in games. A few weeks ago we heard that DRAM and NAND shortages would continue until 2018 and now a closure at one of Micron's DRAM facilities could make the strain for memory even strain-dear. Yes, according to sources, Micron's DRAM fabrication plant in Taiwan has closed down due to a malfunctioning nitrogen gas dispensing system which contaminated wafers and other equipment. However, Micron has refuted claims of nitrogen leaking, saying there was a minor event and operations will be recovering shortly. Initially, operations were expected to be shut down for the whole of July, which made some think that it would delay the release of the new iPhone, which uses Micron's LPDDR4 products. Oh, and the facility that shut down accounts for 5.5% of DRAM products worldwide, so uh, yeah. Anyways, Micron says there's nothing to worry about besides the shortage until 2018 as we've already discussed. Chinese company Baidu has announced a number of partnerships to grow their self-driving car platform, Apollo. One of the partnerships is with NVIDIA, as Apollo will use the Drive PX2 platform in Chinese-made vehicles. Baidu wants Apollo to be a global competitor to the likes of Waymo, Uber, Ford, BMW, and GM. The chief operating officer says Baidu wants Apollo to be the Android for autonomous vehicles, as it's being positioned as an open-source software platform. In addition to self-driving, the NVIDIA Baidu Alliance will utilize Volta GPUs and deep learning for the Baidu Cloud, the Shield TV will get Baidu's Dewar OS for conversation AI capabilities, and the two companies will be collaborating on education and research topics, which could mean a number of things. So, what do you guys think? It's time for shorter news stories that more quickly than the others. Last week, patch notes got people excited about Doomfist possibly being the next new Overwatch character. Now a new blog on the website teases the character even more, and people are even more excited. And okay, I should just stop talking about this until Doomfist is officially like unveiled for the game. But um, yes, I, I, I am one of the excited people. Okay. Chinese internet provider Tencent will be limiting playtime for minors on the game Honor of Kings as it's the world's highest grossing mobile game. Kids under 12 will be limited to one hour and kids between 12 and 18 will have two hours. But how about kids between 18 and 50 and everywhere else in the world? Could be beneficial. Good night ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while since I played this game, but Rocket League has its second year anniversary event starting today, packed with a whole bunch of free, cool things, so I might have to get back into it. Ubisoft has gotten the guy who made Netflix's Castlevania to produce an anime series for Assassin's Creed. Well, I didn't see the movie, but I heard it was pretty bad. But anime series, that sounds, that sounds interesting. But then they'll make an adaptation of this anime and then everybody will be mad again because, you know, that's just what happens. And remember that elevated bus that was supposed to hover over cars on the highway? Well, it appears that it was a huge failure, and the company behind it has a whole bunch of investors raising equivalent to $1.3 billion. Now police are investigating the company for scamming the investors, having arrested 30 people involved. That's a shame. It looks so cool. Sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCIX forum post, linked in the description. That's the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the way uh -huh, uh -huh. I like it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't think that's how it goes at the end of that, but anyways, uh, carrying on. Uh, hashtag NCXO dog. You know the 
thing that you do, yeah. Hey guys, so it's a new month, which means there's new prizes. Jack announced the Fans with Benefits prize yesterday, but hey guys, never forget about the newsletter. There's two prizes this month. When you subscribe to the NCIX newsletter, you'll be entered to win a Western Digital 3 terabyte MyCloud storage device, as well as a 1 terabyte My Passport USB 3.0 external hard drive. Claim your newsletter points if you're already subscribed, and you'll be entered for that as well. Click over here if you need some more information about that. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, if you like the video, like it and comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos as well, like like this one uh, from NCIX. Um, and I hope you got all that. If you didn't, um, well, you're just not listening properly, so.